If you are a human being living in the world today, and if you're watching this, I'm assuming you probably are, life is arguably the peachiest it's ever been for us humans. The data tells us we're getting richer, better educated, better fed, more peaceful. Obviously things are far from perfect, but historically speaking, pretty good time to be a homo sapiens. For many of the Earth's other creatures, it's a very different story. A new United Nations report that's come out has been put together by hundreds of the world's top scientists, and it paints a pretty grim picture for the world's plants and animals. The report says that nature is experiencing the fastest decline in human history, and right now there are a million plant and animal species that are being threatened with extinction. Yep, a million. That includes 40% of frogs, a third of all marine mammals, and a third of all reef-forming corals. This species collapse is big enough to be classified as a mass extinction, which is when at least 50% of the species on Earth is wiped out. It's not actually the first time our planet has experienced mass extinction. Or even the second, or the third. As far as scientists can tell, it's actually the sixth. The first one was more than 440 million years ago, when the cooling of the Earth killed off 60 to 70% of the Earth's species. Most of them lived in the ocean, and they didn't look much like the creatures around these days. There was a series of extinctions about 375 million years ago, probably also a cooling event, that saw the planet farewell about 70% of its species. Then there was the big one, cheerfully dubbed the Great Dying, which happened 200 million years ago when the Earth warmed up by up to 10 degrees and killed 96% of species, including some pretty legit looking creatures like the Pelicosaurs and Therapsids. Then there was the Triassic-Jurassic extinction, and the last big one, which happened just the other day, about 65 million years ago, when these guys kicked the bucket, probably with the help of an asteroid or two. The geological time that we are living through now is called the Holocene, so the extinction we're going through is called the Holocene extinction. Some people are calling this extinction the Anthropocene extinction. Anthropo meaning of humans, because a lot of people think that humans are actually causing this extinction. Or at least making it happen much faster. The UN report says that over the past 50 years, human activity has seriously ramped up the rate of extinction. We're clearing rainforests and wetlands to make way for cities and livestock, overfishing the oceans, and polluting with plastic and carbon dioxide. Also, our population has tripled and doesn't show any sign of slowing down. The experts say if we don't make some big changes soon, we could all go the same way as those poor therapsids. <coughs> Of course, we've known for a while now that the planet's in trouble, and there are people all around the world who are trying to change things. The UK Parliament just became the first in the world to declare a climate and environment emergency after some protests from a group called Extinction Rebellion. The UN report says that solving this extinction crisis is possible. We humans need to set aside more room for nature, reduce the amount of plastic we produce, and do what we can to slow down global warming. Mass extinctions might seem like a pretty grim fact of life here on Earth, but hey, look on the bright side. 99% of all species that have ever existed are now extinct, and you are part of the 1% still kicking. Surely that is something to celebrate. Thanks for watching our video, guys. Hope you liked it. If you did, click the like button. And if you want to see more stuff like this, you can check out our daily videos by following this link. And we've got some more longer explainers on the way, so keep your eye out for those too.